nine popular downtown Austin nightclubs gone from the bar scene this weekend. This as federal agents continue digging through evidence found during yesterday's raids. Three brothers who ran the bars and seven of their associates are still in jail. They're being held without bond on a variety of cocaine, money laundering, and weapons charges. KXAN's Aaron Cargyle is live on 6th Street downtown with more on the impact on employees. Aaron? Well, good evening. Leslie and Robert Bars out here gearing up for the weekend, but the lights are out and the doors are locked on the ones owned by Yasin Enterprises, including fuel here behind me just off of 6th Street. Now, the FBI and TABC say they don't know how long their permits will be suspended. It all depends on how this case plays out. More details are expected to come out during a detention hearing Tuesday regarding the alleged shady dealings that landed three brothers, Steve, Mike, and Hattie Yassine, behind bars, facing hefty federal cocaine and money laundering charges. Obviously, something wasn't right for all this to come about. You know, there's four years of investigating, so that needs to be hammered out, but always remember innocent until proven guilty. Jason Carrier, part owner of several downtown bars, has known the Yassine brothers for the last eight years. Just last week, he and his business partners spent time with Mike and Hattie at this South by Southwest party. But it was the first time we had all hung out in a long time, so it was it was fun. You know, you would never know that this would be going on a week later. Carrier can't help but think about the other lives turned upside down by the federal investigation that's for Yassin Enterprises to close down all nine bars and restaurants. It's unfortunately going to put a lot of good people out of work unexpectedly. That you know, the end of the month's coming up, and people they expect to make you know a certain amount of money on, on the weekends and whatever. So, who knows? It, it it throws a big wrench in a lot of plans. He has no doubt they've been pounding the pavement, looking to get hired somewhere else. Any good business is looking for a good, a good bartender. So it'll be tough, and it's unexpected, and people don't budget for stuff like this at the end of their month. So it's going to be a scramble. And it is estimated anywhere from 150 to 200 bartenders and other club employees are without work now. We reached out to five today who all declined to talk to us. We're live in downtown Austin tonight, Aaron Cargyle, KXAN News.